Okay, today is May 26th. Right now, I think it's close to four o'clock. I came in a little later. Has some errands to run. Um, I walked through the house and I ran into the the construction manager, Joe, and he walked through the house with me and share with me some details. The first thing that I notice uh, when I get here, there's no uh, number stone anywhere. So um, I asked Joe, he said that the number stone is at Ali's office at the model home. So he will be installed and most likely it's going to be right here. Um, over there he has a whole spip so it's not ideal. So this is where he's going to install. Let's go inside the house. He told me that we should be on track before end of June closing and electrical all in. The attic has been, insulation has blown. And this is one car garage with a tendon. So it's two car garage and that's where the water heater will be, okay? And then let's go inside. The tile is the one that holding us up all this time. He said that it's so hard to get the tile. Now the tile is in. We should be, um, they should be installing the tile next week. Walking in this room, everything looks all right to me. I didn't see anything that alerted me. And this is um, the luxury vinyl. Joe say that this is very expensive. And here's the bathroom that is dark, so I can't really see too much. But he's saying that the tile is going to be in, and then the plumbing will be done. This will be a thermostat, I believe. Okay. And here is the office space. Everything looks all right. I don't see anything that alerts me or, you know, I will red flag about. And he said that the door's already ordered. There's a lot of things will be done next week. So maybe, you know, can come back to see a lot of difference. We don't see the mental. So I don't know if we have a mental um, on our contract. Um, so I'll have to email Allie to ask. And this area is where the hearth is. Uh, they have the tape, so the CT inspector is saying that they need to cut it out and put tile over here. Uh, that's pretty common that I see from um, CT inspection. Okay, and he, I, I, I pointed out to uh, Joe, the construction manager for a couple items. We see that there's a big hole behind the wrench, you know, cooktop. And he said that, you know, after the appliance is in, he will patch that and fix it, okay? Here's the opening for the wrench hood. And also there's another thing that I pointed out to him is over here, the gap is big. He told me that it's gonna be caulked. I said, no, this is too big of the gap for caulking. He said that he's gonna make sure that the, the worker will get that corrected. So he said the appliances should be in the next week or the week after. Then he can start working on the sheetrock and you know corrections. Okay. Here the master, he's also saying that, you know, he's getting the shelf in for the linen closet and waiting for the tile to be installed before anything else will be done. Yeah, the shower needs the tile. And then, you know, the kitchen needs the back, uh, backsplash for the tile. And uh, once the tile is in, then they can do all the, you know, um, electrical work and all that. All the appliances will be in. And going outside. Okay. 
He told me that the fence line is going to be over here. It will be a line from this wall, just like that one. Okay, and then he's gonna put it here and then turn to connect with that one. And that pad is for the access from, you know, the garage. I asked him, you know, how come the next door having the pave, pavement, you know, the walkway, he said that the next door neighbor pay extra to get that done. So I do recommend you to maybe have some, you know, after closing to get that level because over here is really um, deep. You see, it's so high. So that will make the backyard really hard to use unless if you install steps. Um, the sprinkler and trees will be in um, sometime next week or so. Uh, that will be done um, different pays from the inside of the house. Okay, and that is it. So probably come back to see uh, in a week or two. And I asked him if he will allow us to do the general inspection, the third party inspection. He says yes, uh, just not right now because it's not done yet. Um, I asked him to let us know when we can do that so we can get that scheduled. All right, if there's any questions, please feel free to let me know.